everyone welcome back to another session of flow builder practice set series so in this one i'm going to show you how you can automatically assign a permission set to a user when the user is created in salesforce right so rather than uh, creating a user and then manually assigning the permission set we are going to create a flow which will actually like you know assign a permission set to the user whenever the user is created in the org all right so let's just go ahead and get started so first of all let me i won't be creating a new permission set because i already have few permission sets in the system so i would be using one of those uh let's just go and check this out so let's say uh this one right buyer permission set <clears throat> so the flow that i want to create that flow will make sure that whenever i'm creating a new user in the system this permission set should automatically get assigned to that user all right so let's just go to the flow and i'll just keep this open because i would be uh, i would need to fetch this permission set in the flow right so new flow and it is going to be a record triggered flow because that is what we are doing right we are uh, going to assign the permission set on the user creation right so record triggered flow All right, so here the object will be user and I want the flow to be triggered when the user is created and not like, you know, on update, just on the creation. All right. And here you can put any condition if you want, maybe like, you know, we can put the active check. If the user is active, then only assign the permission set. So should be true if the user is uh, the active checkbox on the user is true. All right. <clears throat> and we would be using uh, selecting actions and related records because when you would want to assign the permission set, your user should be created, right? That I mean, you need to have the user ID, correct? That is why we are using this action, which is actually uh, specified for the after save action. So click on done. And here, the first step that we need to, so I cannot, okay. So there is an object in Salesforce called permission set assignment. So if we create a record of permission set assignment, and if we give all the values, right, that which user should be assigned with what permission set, we can give those information in the permission set assignment object record, right? But before we actually go ahead and do that, we need to fetch the permission set, which we want to assign to the users which will be newly created in the system, right? So first of all, I'm going to use the get record uh, element in order to fetch the permission set, okay? So get the permission set ID, okay? And here the object would be permission set, permission set, all right? And then here, uh, I just, I can simply give the permission set name. So here, hold on. <clears throat> This is the API name of my permission set. So I'll just copy this and <clears throat> provide this value. Okay. So now, now I have the permission set here and click on done. Now I can go ahead and create the permission set assignment record. So here, create record and here, uh, create permission set, sorry, permission set assignment record. Okay. And here I would be using the, so here you need to search for permission set assignment object, okay? So permission set assignment object, okay? Now there are few values that you would have to uh, map in order to create the record. So, so let's just first map the permission set ID, right? Because using the get record, we have already fetched the permission set ID, right? So permission set ID is nothing but this one dot ID. So let's just this one. Okay. Now we have the permission set ID uh, mapping here, but to which uh, user you want to assign this permission set to, right? So that also you need to specify. So we, on this object, on this permission set assignment object, we have another field called assignee ID, assignee ID and assignee ID is nothing but the user ID. And how will you get the user ID now? So this is a record triggered flow, right? And record triggered flow will actually hold the all the field values from the record wherever like, you know, this flow is triggered from. So for example, in this one, this flow is going to get triggered whenever a user is created, right? And that user's information will be actually, you will get it from that dollar record element, right? The global variable. So we'll just search for that and we'll search for ID. So... And that's all, okay? You click on, so we have we have assigned both, like, you know, uh, both the two fields that is actually required in order to create the permission set assignment record. So 
click on done and that's it let's just save this permission set assignment flow all right and activate the flow all right so this is activated now let's just go ahead and create a user we will create the user and then we'll check if the permission set is getting assigned automatically or not and which permission permission set should, uh, should be assigned this one right buyer so here we'll click on new and here let's say and email i'm just going to put my email and here all right username this and this is active here you can use the user license as um this one and this is fine let's just leave it role is optional and that's all okay so i'm going to save this So I'm not able to create the user due to some limitation in my org. All right, so I have changed the condition of the um, record initiation from here. So rather than record create, I am now going to trigger the flow whenever the record is updated, okay? But this will uh, work perfectly fine for you if you don't have any other limitations such as mine, right? Because I'm not able to create new users. All right, so you can keep this option as selected, but I'm going to up, like you know try it with the record update scenario. All right, so I've made those changes on this onto this flow, and I'm just going to activate this. So this is activated now. I'll go ahead and edit a user. So let's say this user, and he doesn't have any permission set assigned. So the moment I update something on the user, the permission set that I have used on the flow should get assigned to this. So edit and. You can update anything so let me just click on save and here it is the permission set right this is the permission set that we actually fetched in the flow and assigned it in the permission set assignment record right so this is how you can actually automatically assign permission set on user creation update or like you know whatever as per your requirement you can um tweak that in your flow all right so this was all about automatically assigning permission set on user creation or updation Right, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.